Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, we'll learn about the access modifiers that are available to us in Python, which are namely private, public, and protected. And what these access modifiers do is that they restrict access to attributes and methods of the class. So let us go over these access modifiers one by one. Now in Python, we make use of the underscore symbol to determine the level of access for a specific data member or a method of a class. The need for the access modifiers was realized because this prevents unauthorized access to your attributes and methods and hence prevent them from getting accidentally mutated. So I already told you we have three types of access modifiers. First is the public access modifier, then we have private access modifier and lastly we have protected access modifier. So what do we mean by public access modifier? The answer for this lies in understanding what are public members of a class. So coming to public members, they are declared public, which means they can be accessed from anywhere within our main program. As a side note, all data members and methods of a class are by default public. So let us go back to our Visual Studio code and let us define a person class. So class person and let us define the constructor function here. So def double underscore init double underscore and first the self parameter then the attributes for which we have the values name age gender country then we will set the attributes of our instances in the constructor function so self dot name set that to name self dot age age self dot gender gender and self dot country country and now let us define a method to print the details for the person so def print person details and this will take on self as the first parameter then I will make some print statements the name of the person is self dot name then age of the person self dot age and gender of the person self dot gender and country of the person self dot country so now let us come out of the class and create an object for our class so I can say creating an instance of the person class so person object person and then I will pass on the values for our attributes first I will pass on name Alex age as 21 gender as male and countries UK now all these properties that we set up in our constructor function are by default public which you can see here these properties are public namely name age gender and country so we can easily access them even outside our class using the person object so let us try accessing them because they are public so they are accessible from outside the class as well so right here outside the class i will say the name of the person is on the person object i can directly access the name property because it is a public member of the class and you can access it from outside as well so now let us try to run the file python access modifiers dot py and you can see we are getting the name of the person is alex and even the method that we defined above is public so we can access that as well by saying print person object dot print person details and now let us run the file again and you can see we are getting the output name of the person is Alex age of the person gender of the person country of the person and we are getting none as well so why are we getting none because this method returns us nothing it just prints the person details so it returns none just omit this print and if we run the file okay so we are getting the desired output now let us move forward and understand about the private access modifier so the members of the class that are marked private are accessible from within the class only 
and that is why this is the most secure access modifier that Python provides us. So in order to mark a data member or a method as private, you just have to prefix their name by double underscore and you are good to go. So let us comment the above code and copy it as well and paste it down below. So here I will give the comment working with public data members and methods. And let us add some changes to our above code. So we have the same person class with us. And this time what I will do is I will set up the private variables for our attributes, which are of course class variables. So I can say setting up private variables and I will prefix the name of the variables with a double underscore and name. So this will be a private variable. Set that to none and age set that to none gender set that to none country set that to none and then right inside the constructor function we'll set up our private variables and let us make some changes in our constructor function and initialize our private variables now in order to refer the name age gender and country property of the instance that we are going to create which are these attributes for that i can say so the self will refer to the current instance and on the current instance I'm setting the private property name which is this one and we got the value of name inside our constructor function when we try to create an instance of our class and then to refer the age property of the current instance that will get created once this function or once the constructor function gets invoked and the gender property and the country property and now for this print person details method let us convert that to a private method so for that i will first prefix it with a double underscore and change the name here say log person details and write inside the print statements let us prefix the property names with a double underscore like this and now what i will do is i will define a public method so this is a private method as you can see we have prefixed this with a double underscore so now i will again define the print person details but what i will do is i will invoke a private method from inside it so we will invoke this private method from a public method that we are going to define in just a minute so i will say def print person details and this will take on self as the first parameter let me comment out here so public method and here i will invoke the log person details method on the current instance which is pointed to by self parameter and let's leave this as it is so now our class is done with its definition let us see where the actual difference comes I will again create an object for this class so I can say let's make the changes here person object to and person let's pass the name of James age as 32 male and Brazil and now let us try to access a private data member directly from outside the class so I can say print person object to and double underscore name which is a private property that we defined right here for now let us comment this out and now let us try to run the file to see if it works or not and you can see we are getting an attribute error it says person object has no attribute double underscore name so this is how we secure our data by preventing it from getting access from outside the class but what i can do is i can invoke my print person details method which is this one because that is a public method so it is available for access even outside the class and when it runs it will invoke the log person details method which in turn will access our private variables and will print them to the terminal so this should work because you can access private data members and methods from within the class and log person details method is not called by us it will get called by the print person details which is present within the class so let us see whether it works or not so i'll change this to person object 2 and now let us run the file 
let us comment this out because this will not work and you can see we are getting the output it says name of the person is James age is 32 gender male country Brazil and as expected it works fine now before ending with this video let us cover the last access modifier and that is the protected access modifier now the protected data member is one which can only be accessed by the derived class or the base class in which the protected data member was defined. So if your base class data member is marked as protected, you can access them from a derived class that inherits from your base class. So let me comment this out working with private variables and let us copy this, comment the above code, paste this down below. And here I will comment working with protected variables and methods. And here I can say working with private variables and methods. So to demonstrate protected data members, I will have to define two classes to see how inheritance happens between the two and how you can access protected data members of your base class from your derived class. Now you can mark a data member as protected by prefixing the name of the data member with a single underscore. So let us remove one underscore from the name of the properties like this and let us go down below and make the changes here as well. Now here our function, the constructor function, we will set up our protected variables. Now let us mark this method as protected. So remove one underscore from the prefix of this method which is double underscore. So a single underscore and here also we will remove one underscore to mark the properties as protected and let us remove this public method from our person class so change the comment here protected method and let us remove this for now so now let us define another class which will inherit our base class person so i can say class developer and let us define the constructor function self name age gender country and salary company and is junior and then i will first call the constructor of our base class to set up the person attributes of our developer instance so i can say person dot double underscore init double underscore pass on the self parameter the name age gender and country and let's keep salary company is junior data members as public so i won't use underscore as prefix while initializing these attributes on the developer instance so i can say self dot salary set that to salary self dot company set that to company and self dot is underscore junior set that to is junior so now our constructor function is done with its definition let us define a public method and using it we will try to access the protected data members of our base class which in this case is person so i can say def print person not person print developer details and pass on self and let us invoke our protected method which is log person details which is this one from the base class and we are invoking it from the derived class and let us print some of our developer attributes as well so print developers salary self dot salary print developers company as self dot company so all of the properties like name age gender country are going to be protected attributes and they are defined on the person on which our developer instance is based and all the properties which are public like salary company and as junior they are defined on the developer instance so we are inheriting these properties which are protected properties which you can see here from our base class and these are our own properties or the developer instance properties 
so we can access them directly here so i can say print developers company self taught company and print is junior self taught is junior so this was a lot that we covered so let us create a developer instance creating a developer instance so developer object developer pass on the name of the developer max age is 26 gender is male country is france salary is say 67000 company is side and is junior false so now let us try to run the method print developer details from here Remember that it is a public method, so we can easily access it from right here. So I can say developer object dot print developer details. And now let us try to run the file. Okay, so we forgot to inherit right here. So here I have to say the parenthesis and say person. So this was a small mistake from my side. Let us try to run the file. And you can see it does work fine okay so we wrote this two times let us run the file again and now you can see these four properties got set in our person constructor so the person constructor took the responsibility of assigning these properties for our developer instance right here when we set person dot double underscore in it we pass on the current instance that we are working on which is the developer instance we assign the responsibility of assigning these attributes to the constructor of our person class so we got the value for name a gender country and then we set up these attributes in the constructor of our derived class which is developer which is inheriting from the person class so now when we invoke this method first this method ran so it logged the person details by referring to the protected variables of our base class it logged that to the terminal and then we access these attributes that are directly sitting on our developer instance once the instance was created and that got logged to the terminal as well so this was a long video where we covered everything about access modifiers so if you liked the video do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for all the upcoming uploads and i will see you guys in the very next one